The back end of this, this verse, I love, he disarmed the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing over them. There's, there's so much imagery here. When, in the ancient world, when, when armies would conquer people, they wouldn't just conquer them, they would then take them and parade them through their city as victors. That they would say, these are all of the people that we conquered. Right? It's like the Saints, remember when the Saints won the Super Bowl like a decade ago? We forget that. That was like a decade ago. But it was a decade ago. We had all, those, the, all the Mardi Gras floats, right? What this text is saying, Jesus is literally marching through the city and, set, and sin and death and hell and Satan is marching behind him, conquered, and Jesus is victorious. Jesus is having his own little victory parade and everything that he has defeated is behind him who has been conquered. That's the imagery that Colossians 2 brings us. That's the imagery that we're supposed to see that, listen, this is a victory parade that we're a part of. He is, Jesus has defeated our sin. He's defeated death. He's defeated hell. He's defeated Satan. Everything that stands in our way before God and everything that stands in God's way is over and completely finished. And Jesus is victorious. 